Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing great. I am doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm sharing distance, psychic wisdom and energy healing. The topic is about seeing the future. I wanna thank the client so much for this opportunity to connect with you. I can't wait to see what we discover. I don't know what the future is going to look like or what the future is going to reveal. But thank you so much for reaching out and giving me this opportunity to take a look and share it with you and share it with others here on YouTube. All right, so these are your goals. You say, I want to see into the future of my life. I want good news. I don't expect good news, but can you tell me something about the future and myself? Okay. So the first thing that hits me about this, just reading your goals, are we talking about like tomorrow, next month? Are we talking about the next 10 years? Are we talking about, I don't know, 200 lifetimes from now? <laughs> and so the future can be um, kind of like uh, any point. And so I'm just, I'm just gonna like include it in the intentions here that what is the most meaningful experience of the future that I could provide you right now, whether it is a good thing or uncomfortable thing, what is it that your higher self would like you to see about yourself and the future? And we're just going to work with it like that. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for exploring the session again and for sharing with us here. This is going to be so fun. Okay. Okay. Sorry, God. I'm calming down. I'm going to get in the zone here. Okay, the future. Okay, all right, this is my first experience. And it's like this. I'm running very quickly. And there seems to be a kind of a narrow uh, path. And I want to say it's outside, but it also represent in, it represents indoors. But this path seems to be covered with plants. That's why it looks like it's outside. But there seems to be these notches in the wall and the notches aren't like stiff, as in I could hit the notch and then fall backward. They're more like notches that are flexible. So I, I hear the sound of um, running and then these notches are being like um, moved as I go, almost like maybe spokes on a wheel, like you can, you can hear the sound, like, like the wheel of fortune, you know, like the notches, like you can hear the sound. And this is running as fast as possible, running as fast as possible. Are you running from something? Are you running towards something? Why are you running? Is running necessary? Is it the only way to get out? I, <laughs> so I'm trying to understand this. Yeah, you don't want to stop. You have to keep going, 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 going. You have to keep going, 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 going. You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to. That's the first thing I'm shown related to you and the future. Okay. You decided that though. So I don't know where the inspiration is coming from, but you are deciding that you have to keep going as fast as you can. You're deciding that. But what's interesting is there, there's a change in the wind and you're out of breath. Not because you want to be, you, you would try to override it and keep going, but you're forced to stop. You're forced to. Like something in the universe is in motion and it's impacting you. It's just, it's forcing you to stop. And you have stopped. And nothing really is happening that is from behind you maybe that represents the past is chasing you I'm not, I'm not sure but the whatever's behind you is there's nothing um, really there that we have to be concerned about but this feels like a never-ending kind of tunnel like you're never gonna get out of it and that's that's why you're you're out of breath you're exhausted you have no choice but to stop <sighs> you're sitting down you're crying and you pound your fists on what is like a stone floor, okay? And you keep, you just keep pounding your fists on the floor and you're really angry and you're really frustrated.
and you're just crying. You, you are just literally sobbing. And it is almost nauseating to look at how long you've been in this tunnel for. Because when, when you look at, it feels like you're looking at time and time has been narrow. And time has been, um, like, it seems like part this tunnel has been going on for a while. And when you look at it, you, you've been working so hard or you, you've been putting all your energy into um, getting out of this. And you're still in it. <laughs> and how could you still be in it? And to look at the past, it's like when we look back at where you started, I can't, I can't see that starting point. I can't fi figure out where it is. There's something a lot gloomier about the past. Even the past that is, it feels like pretty close by. It feels like uh, the lights go out as you move through um, that portion of time. It's like the lights disappear and it becomes a shadow. It becomes a gloomy thing, the past. And it's always like behind you. It's this gloomy past is always like nipping at your heels. It's always there. And you can't get away from it. You can't get... Um, you, you can't... So you're just collapsed and sobbing and you're, you're angry because you're tired and you're frustrated and this never stops. And that, that's the feeling of it, okay? Interesting that those tick marks are like the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. Is that, is, is that, um, is there maybe the wheel of fortune here? Is there a wheel of fortune for you? Is there some kind of good fortune or good news on the horizon? Maybe the good news is to feel like you're out of this path or um, you're onto some kind of new experience, new landscape, totally new energies like could you be there yet or is that in the foreseeable future or is it just going to be this for the long haul i um, i'm just going to explore that idea all right this is this is the thing this is what i this is what echoes back to me you're not crying anymore because it you've been given some time to just collect yourself it just stop and um, reflect i i guess you you could say and so you're not sobbing or pounding the ground with your fists and you're looking at the shadow of the past and it seems like a person that's always there the shadow of the past is always there watching you it's always there and i i see a kid that's playing and they're trying to run away from their shadow and they're laughing and no matter what they do, the shadow is always like attached to their heels, you know, it's like attached to their body or their feet, like, so you can't run away from your shadow. And you're just, you, something is nauseating because there's something about your emotional gut that just wants to vomit. And it's like uh, emotional buildup that's like rotten meatballs. I just want to vomit the emotional rotten meatballs out but they just won't come out i can't get to the wheel of fortune just yet i can't find out about this yet but i'm still pursuing it okay this has to be reconciled this shadow of the past concept has to be reconciled You hate this shadow, you hate this shadow. Isn't there, isn't that Peter Pan has a shadow? And Peter Pan, there's something about Peter Pan and, the sh and Peter Pan's shadow. I keep seeing that you and your shadow have a relationship and you, it's like, it feels like Peter Pan, if my memory is correct, um, hates his shadow or his shadow teases him or plays tricks on him or something like this. Because I just see that you... Um, really could use a vacation from your shadow. Like if your shadow just disappeared for all time, that would be great. I don't know how to reconcile this because it's, uh, I hear like bad blood. I hear 
uh, weird, weird, um, I, I think about some kind of gross food made out of human flesh or something, and it's, it doesn't taste good, it stinks, um, and it's all you have to eat, and there's a sense of, uh, starvation, I feel, I have nothing else to eat but this human flesh, I have no choice but to eat it, and there's this putridness in this experience, and it's a desperate, desperate starvation to not have the shadow always there. <clears throat> okay, I would like to, I just, I just tell this energy, okay, so I've gotten to know you, I've, I've gotten to know this side of the story, but I don't want to just linger in this side of the story. I, I would like to see another side of the story. So I'd like to see what, if we, if we could say that this is uh, the right side, like let's look at the left side. I, I would really like that. So I'm, I'm forcing the energy to shift gears, okay? Or I'm, I'm shifting gears away from that interaction. I think we understand it to a degree, okay? Okay, ha, come on now. Uh, all right, so we're not focusing on the shadow, we're just focusing on you, and you have thrown away the Wheel of Fortune. Like it's a frisbee that you just tossed and you don't know where it is, you don't care, because it doesn't matter. Now, vibrationally, there is no Wheel of Fortune for you. But I hear the sound, did you want your Wheel of Fortune back? Do you want the frisbee back? And you're a bit too... Um, I don't know, stubborn or you, maybe pride in the way or something like, there's a reason why you threw it and you didn't want it anymore. You're, it's kind of like the, the toddler that throws their toy and they realize that they shouldn't have done that in front of their parents and <laughs> they're kind of like regretting it, but then they're not going to want their toy because it, that's why they threw it. <laughs> I don't know. This is like some weird, like stubborn mind game, you know? Did you want your frisbee back? Are you going to stop being a baby now? Did you want your frisbee back? Well, you need to um, actually cherish your frisbee and stop throwing it and acting like a baby. <laughs> you just, you want your wheel of fortune back? Did you want it back? Because I can get it for you if you want it back. But don't, don't act like that with it. And, and to be honest, it, it makes sense why the, that. It makes sense why that's the outcome. Why the Wheel of Fortune Frisbee was tossed. It makes sense why the temper tantrum, all right? It makes sense why the rushing down this narrow path that you can't ever get out of and the shadow that's always nipping at your heels. It makes sense, you know, why it's accumulated to this moment. So I'm not trying to, like, um, make you feel even worse, but it, it, the only reason that that exists there is because of ego, because there's something that you're trying to maybe get ahead of the game, or you're trying to, I, I'm not sure what the scenario is exactly, but, um, it's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like me handing you the Wheel of Fortune back is going to, it's, it's going to be translated in this kind of annoying way, okay? But I tell you to just say yes to it and get over yourself. Just say yes because it is what you want. No matter how stupid you feel and how frustrated and how it doesn't seem to matter anyway. Even if you had your Wheel of Fortune back, it wouldn't give you any fortune anyway. So what's the point? Um, no, you, you need to have access. I do want my Wheel of Fortune back. I have my Wheel of Fortune back. I am the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm okay with whatever the fortune is for today, okay? <laughs> um, oh, that's, that's part of this. It's not, it, you, that's almost uh, nauseating because I'm talking about today. And is that why I can't see the future here? Like beyond this point, like if I were to turn left and, and then what's down that? Like where, where's the hallway go? I can't access the future because you don't carry the wheel of fortune and you it's almost like um something about the future doesn't exist for you and that might be for emotional reasons or what you've been through or maybe you gave up on anything good happening for you i'm not sure but i'm not able to get into the future yet okay so you have to have the you have to say yes i want the wheel of fortune back because that's going to heal this. 
it is everything is happening when you say yes to that like there's all these gross gremlins coming out of you there's all these um you feel like you've been like whipped thousands of times like i see your flesh is like got all these cuts and wounds and it's bleeding everywhere you're you're bleeding out your very eyeballs like your eyeballs are coming out of your eye sockets because they're part of the tears themselves they're like eyeballs are coming out of your face and i say you have the wheel of fortune now right and you're instantaneously, there's a strange flash of lightning and you're pulled into a really dark environment. And I hear the echoing sounds of screaming, okay? And it's like really um, hard soul memories, all right? Soul trauma sounding um, scream, okay? It's like uh, the scream of a soul. And the scream of a soul is it's like a, a ghost that isn't there. It's just like it echoes throughout this, I don't know, environment. It's like it's like an old creepy house, a haunted old house or something. Um, I just hear the echoing sounds of a soul screaming. Yeah, you. this is step number one is you need to start reconciling. You, it, don't worry about the shadow. Like, don't worry about the past or the shadow of the past. Don't, um, because, because it, it's going to be, when you start focusing that you have a shadow and that the shadow is always there and you never get away from it, then you're not focusing on what is important. We need to mend the relationship here. Like, you, you're going to have to mend the relationship with something good happening for you, okay? Not that all there is for you is bad. Like, really, soul trauma and screaming soul, um, shadow, gremlins, eating this human meat is all there is left. Like, it's all, like, the, the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst, okay? So, we, we've got to change that energy. Um, we, we need to turn the energy inside out, okay? And then you need to start focusing on the Wheel of Fortune energy. And I keep seeing that Wheel of Fortune says bankruptcy, okay? Isn't that one of the, like, things on there? It's, like, black, and then it's white letters, and it says bankruptcy, and then I think you lose all the money you've gained. And so I think that there's one of these, and I keep seeing it, bankruptcy is one of these, like, Wheel of Fortunes, because the Wheel of Fortune isn't always that great. It's sometimes it's a worst-case scenario, you know? You could get the worst-case scenario. Then, then what are you going to do? The shadow's still nipping at your heels and all this. You've been, you know, the the, the whipping and the cutting and the, all this, like, your eyeballs bleeding out of your very eye sockets, like... Um, all this sound, you see, unreconciled trauma and stuff. It feels hopeless, I, I can tell. that you, you, No wonder you're asking about the future. You're, you need to mend your relationship with time. You need to mend it. Um, let me see what else I can tell you about this. I'm just asking, I'm straight up saying, okay, I, I'm asking your higher self, how, what is the most empowering way that I could tell you how you can mend your relationship with time beyond starting to say things like, I possess the wheel of fortune, because every single time that I see bankruptcy. And it's like, how is this, that, what, what are we gonna do here? Like, what is the method, what is the recommendation here? Your higher self um, moves through a very thin, um, like a thin sheet of paper. Like you, you can't, so thin, it, is it, it's like, but it's glass. So you can't actually tell if it's there. But somehow the thin sheet of paper, like through the thin part, um, your higher self is moving through it. And, but it's made out of glass. So it's like your higher self is moving through this very ridiculously thin, like strand of hair, like they can't even be seen. And you just start to puke. And I, I, I don't know, it's like you... Obviously, I'm looking at a lot of um, difficult images, like um, I keep seeing gun um, going off at someone's temple, like bl brain splattering out the other side, um, choking around the neck. Like, uh, it's, it's like you can't breathe and... The higher self just, it's a very feminine energy and she just comes and she holds you. That's it. 
like a baby, like like your baby that needs to be held and not as a it's so childish and immature, no. Like a, a human being desperate to be held or to have affection, to have love, to be loved. Like, like, almost like, um, that seems to be the answer. Is to literally, it's, it's like you need to do this. It's like an emergency level take, and I know it's just like five minutes of your day, a couple times a day, and you'll have to play pretend, but it isn't playing pretend, it's real, because energy is real, and your feelings are real, and I always recommend this, lay down and feel the presence of, just play pretend and feel the presence of like a warm, your memory of a warm blanket just wrapped around you, but it's a person. And let yourself feel that. Let yourself have that. Let yourself have a kind person that genuinely loves you 24-7. Because it seems to me all you have is shadow. All you have is this sadness, a despair. It's this overwhelmingly loud. And when it's overwhelmingly loud, it looks like this in the energy world. And the way to silence that or calm that down so that you can move forward in life with love is to feel that love is with you, love is present with you, not that the shadow of the past is always nipping at your heels and it's just some derailing, stressful nightmare that never goes away. You need to have a dampener in there, is something gentle in there, something loving in there, you know? So now that we're doing this, what do you think the future holds now? You have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the love wrapped around you. You have the, the choice and the capacity to just not feel alone. And it, it, sometimes we have to play pretend, okay? But when we take out the words play pretend, now we're allowing it to be real, and it is real. Because you know how many soulmates we all have? A bajillion. You know how many souls are watching over us, and time is like nothing to them? It's everything to us, but it's nothing to them. Bajillion souls watching us all the time. <laughs> in, in times when we don't want anybody watching us, we need privacy, they're watching. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> That's why you just have to get over yourself. Like, it's kind of, it's like, once you realize that it's, that's just some kind of human thing, but it's the soul, it just, we're all infinite. We all, we don't have ego when we're souls. We don't have a need to want to hide when we're souls, like, unless we carry the burden of a lifetime where we wanted to hide, you know, but when we're free in the, the infinite, now we don't carry those burdens, we, we don't hold on to them, we truly love, we're just genuine sparkles of love. Love, love, love. That's what we are, genuine sparkles of love. And so I start to see your future holds love, okay? Your future holds love. Now let's take this Wheel of Fortune out because I keep seeing it as the Wheel of Fortune and the Wheel of Fortune as these daunting things that, that could eventually be your fortune. It's like the worst case scenario is going to be your future. No, we, we take that out. Let's just, your future contains love. It, it is about love. And there seems to be a diminishing of the sense of the shadow, okay? And more of an amplification of the sense of love. And that love is with you. Love is wrapped around you. Love truly, deeply knows who you are and is with you. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> this is going to help you out. And you needed this. <laughs> you really needed to, a look at this future of yours. Now, so that way we can get your energy right so you're, you're moving in the future of love, right? Because I don't know what future would have meant to your path if it contained the, the, the suffering. 
because it, it would have been quite stubbornly stuck because it, your path doesn't it doesn't seem to me that it, it is meant to include just suffering and only suffering. It, it seems to me that it is meant to include support for you. Love. Love that doesn't have to be pretend anymore, but you actually maybe make some new friends, um, have some amazing new soulmates in your life, whether it's a lifelong partner or um, just a, someone you go out for breakfast with on um, random occasions like these are all soulmates so thank you very much for this opportunity thank you for exploring this with me thank you for sharing and those watching if you want me to take a look at anything going on in your life you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com have a great day everybody